Hey guys, this is a really easy tutorial on Twitch alerts uh, for donators, followers, and subscribers. Uh, anybody new that, you know, um, follows, you'll get an exciting new alert. And same with, you know, subscribers or donators on your stream. Um, let's go ahead and uh, get started. Um, if you go to twitchalerts.com, they have a really cool free, 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 uh, you know, Twitch alert thing uh, app that you can just launch straight up. Uh, you need to be logged into your Twitch account, um, and then you can just go launch Twitch alerts. And what will happen is you'll get this uh, green screen up here, and this is really cool. It's basically... Um, Oh, uh, let me keep in mind, if, if it's your first time launching, you'll get an authorized button from Twitch for them to access your API, which is fine. Um, it's not going to hurt anything. They're just going to get like your some of your account information unless you're like trying to hide something in Twitch. I think you'll you'll be good. Um, so once you launch this, you'll get uh, these test buttons, which is cool. Um, you can do the follow, subscribe, or donate. Um, if you do the follow, you can have, you know, this cool little GIF that pops up. Subscribe, same thing. And these are all tests. So, um, cool, cool. And donate test. And these are all showing up right in the middle. And you can see in the back there's a huge Guess green one. screen. And this is going to help with our, um, our OBS, our, a, uh, our uh, streaming <laughs> app that we're using. So let's go um, Guess what? to I got settings for each of these. And the only prescription is more cowbell. So up in the top here, there's a settings button. And you can see there's three tabs at the top here. Follower settings, subscriber settings, and donation settings. Um, for follower settings, um, it's pretty cool. There's, um, for all of these, they're pretty much the same settings. I'll just go through. Oh, well, donation things is a little bit different. They want you to enter your, your PayPal ID. Um, and they also have your dona donation URL um, there. So, and then they have the option to show the donator message. So when you do get a donation, they have a message, whether or not to show it or not, not which is cool. Um, that's nice. And let's see here. Um, one thing I wanted to show on the, uh, for browsing the, um, images and the sounds, let's, let's do that really fast. So you can look here, there's some default images, but, um, we also have the option of putting our own images in here, which is cool. So I wanted to show you how easy it is to just put in a, an image, um, that you might have on your computer. Um, so let's say we have, you know, this gold image, if you can see it uh, here, and we just want to upload that to Imager. I found that Imager is really just really easy to upload images. So let's upload that. And now we have our image URL. We can go back to our Twitch Alerts uh, app here. And we can say, hey, let's use this GIF instead for our followers. And let's also uh, pick a different sound here. So right now I'm using this uh, Mom, Mom the Meatloaf uh, from Fuck. Wedding Crashers, which is Will Ferrell's classic. Um, and actually pulled that from my computer also. It has to be an MP3 or, or a wave sound. So if you can find something like that, it's the same process. Um, uploading is really easy. Um, they also have these these uh, other default sounds. So I'll just leave it at, at like that. So you, you kind of get the point there. Um, you can say, change the timing, the alert, delays, pretty cool stuff. Um, now you can see when I put this, the follow <laughs> changes to those those coins it's not a png so you know you still have the background there um but whatever i'm going to change that back now because i want it to have that kind of png uh or gif with the cool zelda background it's pretty sweet and go back to that following there we go 
All right, so the next step here is we want this to show up on our on our stream now. So um, one thing I want to do is I have this, and uh, hopefully I didn't click that too many times. That's really annoying. Okay, so um, and I have XVID up, and that's actually what I'm recording this on. But in XVID or OBS, um, what I want to do here is I want to do uh, add screen region, add screen region, and I actually want to choose that region on the screen. So I want to choose the Zelda part, and I'll just move that to the left here. Cool. And since this is a green screen, I actually want to use the chroma key here, and there's a color, color. so I, what I did is I right clicked on this, and I said color key, and I want to use the eyedrop tool, and right click on that and it disappears for me which is pretty sweet so now what i can do is i can actually go ahead and test this so what i'll do is i'll say hey i want follow Ma, the meatloaf! Fuck! oh but what i have to do sorry i had it on the wrong screen so i need to put this back over here okay there it's covered up now Ma, there the we go so you can see now it's showing up on my screen you have to make sure it's the right screen region. And it's pretty cool how that how that works. So as you can see, that's a really easy way to um, Guess get, what? Uh, I got um, a fever. Get, uh, and the only on prescription your, uh, is on more cowbell. And, uh, and work, work with that. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you have any more questions, you can hit me up on... Uh, on either my stream or on uh, my YouTube account. Um, my stream is twitch.tv slash srbrown1 and I uh, hope to catch you in game or uh, in uh, chat or wherever. Uh, happy gaming. Thanks.